Okay, this is the second video of the OCB Explain. Um, we're just having a closer look at the uh, OCB. So these things here that I'm pointing to are the fingers. They open and close when we actually raise the circuit breaker. So you can see there's a lot of bit of um, thread in the back there. That's like a screw. That's what pushes up. So what happens is there's a motor that sits on the bottom of that thread inside. So if we undid this cover here, we would see there's a motor inside. This thing turns around, raises the ACB up. We have our earthing point here. Right, these fingers are what go in and clip, so as it comes up, it'll clip in. We have our selector, all right. We have isolating a mechanism, so when it's free, all right, this has to be locked in as it comes in. So as it goes up, these fingers will turn and lock in. So the fingers here turn, come in and lock into the control circuit. So if we have a quick look at those, you'll see that they're all like wiring fingers, all right. These all have to be polished and clean because they're silver. They've gone tarnished now. So, like I said, now down inside here, in around underneath these, this is your oil. Your oil chamber sits right down the very bottom here. So, looking at this, all right, we have an oil chamber down here. There's a contactor. When we look at it, it pushes up and down, and it comes to these fingers. So there's a contact that sits across each of these finger. One, two, three, like a big contactor. It'll come up. And close the contacts all right these are ceramic blocks that sit on here they're bolted in and what happens is these are insulated these need to be clipped clean and polished um, these are locating pins and what they do they locate the breaker as it comes up and locks in okay so let's have a look at the ID tag all right so we have a Bit of information type, right, 66,000 volts. So we're not talking 22, 66,000 coming in, all right. Normal operating current, 400 to 1200 amp, 50 hertz, insulated 1 kVA three phase, breaking current at 11,000 volts. All right, system 26 to 32 kA, equipment 500 MVA. So has a capacity. Marking capacity, short circuit 26kA, and it trips on 110 volts. So the tripping mechanism in the supply is um, 110 volts. We have 100, weighs 225 kilo with oil, okay? So that is a fair bit. So these are made in England. Um, what other information we got? MKVA, peak KVA. So that's all your information there. So people were wondering, so if we have a look inside the box you can see the location of the fingers where they go into the control circuit so those are those little disc things that if we have a look here these little fingers that are sitting here those down there they actually locate into there now if we have a look inside the box here we have three different positions if we have a look here we have where we got buzz bar earth so these are locations in service for the middle one and circuit earth so what happens is when you push them into different parts of the box so when you have a look here we have the service point let's bring that back down we have service point and circuit earth so there's two different locations now that CT thing I was talking about that's like an RCD I was probably saying like a CT before but what it does if the cables damaged and measures anything hits it down to earth and we get a bit of fault current down to earth that will trip the breaker through the protection all right um, we have other, the other three CTs I was showing you are upstairs if we open the cabinet up the top here we have all our control wiring so if we have a look we have basically an open type 110 volt contactor we have an active and neutral fuse we have a lot of fuse links these are a contactor actually quite interesting you can actually change the type of contact normally open or normally close in these contactors you undo the pin in each corner they pull out we have fuse links here so we have the 2240 volt heater neutral heater active the heater is to keep the um, unit warm so we don't get heater in there we have the mr relay um, and then we have current trip 
the trip coil fuses, closing contact fuses, all right, and the coil. Now the coil is quite big because it does drag quite a lot of current. And then we have the heater thermostat up the top to keep the cabinet warm, so we keep moisture out of here. A lot of this old cabling is all mum numbered, all right, and it's good stuff because it was all done nice and simple. The control wiring is all black. The only problem with that is if you lose a wire number off the end, you then have to physically trace the cable out. So a lot of this is all that comes down from those fingers. It comes up to the control circuit here. And this is what helps control the con uh, OCB in and out. All right. You would follow a drawing. You have all your heaters. We have all the terminals down here. So telling us it's live cables, which one's live and which one's our control. All right. Anyway, these are all pre-wired, basically an old main switch isolator, nice and simple, turn it on, turn it off, alright, so I'm going to do a bit more explanation, a um, bit more of a video next week on some of the high voltage breakers that we use out in the street, but anyway, good old stuff, I'm going to do a bit more of a talk about this soon, um, these have the old arc chutes in them, so when you pull them out, you can see the contacts on them, they're um, like a DC contact, so these are actually an arc chute that suspend, they're all made out of ceramic and when you have a look at the contact inside, we've got the closing contact, alright, sits inside there, alright, and they've got a spring coil on the back that helps hold the tension on it, so the coil sits straight underneath and it just closes in and out. Good stuff, nice simple stuff to have a look at, um, but we'll have a little bit more, I'm going to pull some of this stuff out and have a look and have a play with it, alright? I'll make some more videos soon.